as you can see we already finished from reading and writing now I have to desolder the chip from here and solder it there Assalamu alaikum this is my old HP laptop and I want to downgrade the BIOS using CH341A programmer so let's see how to do that as you can see here here is my model number HB 350 G1 and BIOS version is F.16 I have to disassemble the laptop in order to reach the BIOS chip on the motherboard so let's be quick Finally, here is the motherboard. I have to remove heatsink, RAM, pan, and CMOS battery. Then I will look for BIOS chip. This is my BIOS chip. I don't know if you can see what is written on it or not, but it is 25Q128FV. I think it is 16 megabyte chip because 128 megabit is equal 16 megabyte. I have to desolder the chip from the motherboard and solder it here on this small board or adapter before desoldering the chip it is too important to take a good quality image for this area the components around the BIOS chip this is pin number one here here is pin number one I will put some flux on the chip to be easy to desolder. I use this flux, but you can use Antec, it is better. Let's remove the chip. And here we have. Now I will solder the chip to this small board but with a little bit of heat Here is my chip, it looks fine Now I have to connect it to the programmer Here is pin number 1 bin number four so it should be like this bin number four should be down left now I will connect the programmer to my other laptop so let's move to the laptop screen I will connect the programmer now to my laptop I didn't use this programmer on this laptop before so here on CH programmer it is not connected I always like to use new programmer software 
but I just use this one to check for connection so I will install the driver just like this done now on ch programmer software it is connected let's close this and use new programmer it is the best software for ch programmer now first thing i forget to tell you that you have to search for the chip number to know its specs like supply and size before connecting the chip to the programmer because sometimes you will need 1.8 volt adapter to use it if your chip needs that I think this was the number of my chip so it is 3.3 volt 128 megabits means 16 megabyte so it's fine now I can press detect the software identify my chip or recognize it one of this so this is mine I will press select now press read IC it will take like two minutes or something so I will back when it finished now it is done execution time is like two and a half minutes I need to save my file I will save it as all dot ben so this is my file 16 megabyte it looks a complete file no errors I can analyze it on ME analyzer it is fine no errors of course I can't know if it is clean or not because it is force gen CPU version 9.5 ME now every HP laptop has port ID or BID so I need to know what is mine BVDT my BID should be 021B7 I can also search for BID here as you can see before that this is my BIOS version it is F.16 I can search for BID F3 again again here it is same one now I will go to before that I can search for my DMI nothing Good. what where is my DMI it looks empty no there is something wrong I have to figure it out okay so I have to search by model number here is my DMI I can't show you my serial because it is not a random BIOS from the internet it is my own laptop but I will use the serial number to download the file the BIOS file from HB website so let's see as you can see the website recognized my model number by the serial I will search for the BIOS file there is no BIOS here so I will choose different maybe Windows 7 
BIOS. This is my version. I will choose a different one. I just made this video till to learn you something. It is not helpful for me to downgrade my BIOS, but anyway, I will download this one if 20. This is the file. Let's extract it. Install this one. I can't use this one because it is decrypted. Look. I can't use it. I will open this tool. What? I can't select anything here. What is happening? Really? I have to figure out another option to decrypt this file. I found another way to decrypt this file. Let's copy it and use this tool. Drag the file here. It will take like few seconds. Let's wait. It is done. I don't know what is this error, but it looks fine. Let's see. It has same size as my file, my old file. Let's open it here. It looks fine. Again, search for BID and version. Here it is F.16, F.12, same BID. Here I can use this file, but I have to move my DMI and Windows key from the old file. You can see uh, how to do that on my videos. I posted a lot of videos about how to transfer DMI and Windows key from each brand. So let's move to the next step. This is a new file. I have to flash my chip using this file. So I will open the software again. I forget to tell you something. You can read the IC more than one time, then compare between them because perhaps you made something wrong. Now I will open the new file. This one. I always like to select these five options then press right I see here verifying is very important so bismillah yes it will take like three or five minutes it is done now as you can see verifying success it takes like four minutes but no problem it is a very cheap programmer so it is fine let's move to the camera and complete our job as you can see we already finished from reading and writing now i have to desolder the chip again from this adapter and solder it back on the motherboard let's see now i have to desolder the chip from here and solder it there so let's see I hope this is enough. I think this is much better. Let's put the motherboard on the laptop and try it. 
let's see if my old laptop still working or not Bismillah here it's going on let's go to BIOS I will assemble the laptop and we'll let you know as you can see here the laptop still working and BIOS version is F12 I hope you learned something new from this video and see you soon inshallah assalamu alaikum